Is your teen self-harming? Are you worried that he or she may be self-mutilating? Do you feel helpless and don't know what to do? You are not alone. Every year, one in five females and one in seven males engage in self-injury. 90% of people who engage in self-harm began during their teenage years or pre-adolescent years. Nearly 50% of those who engage in self-harm activities have been sexually abused. 60% are females and 50% of those who begin around the age of 14 will continue until their 20s. It is important to understand that it is typically not meant as a suicide attempt. Rather, this type of self-injury is an unhealthy way for your teen to cope with emotional pain, intense anger, and frustration. It's hard to understand why a teen would purposefully hurt themselves. It often begins as an impulse that then can develop into a habit that is difficult to stop. Some people describe it as almost like an addiction. It helps with the pain you're feeling, but then you start feeling other pains like the guilt from it. If people are going to find out, um, when people see it, what are they going to think? When teenagers experience a self-harm episode, they do it in private areas and usually do it in a ritualistic manner. Mental health issues are commonly associated with self-harm. Some of those conditions include depression, anxiety, and PTSD. In many cases, those who self-harm report learning how to do so from friends and social media. Here in Kansas City, facilities such as the Lilac Center, Rediscover, and Signature Health offer effective treatments available for teenagers who are now dealing with self-harm. Therapy is crucial to helping these teens, but what is most important is finding a therapist with a high level of experience with self-harm issues. A relatively new treatment called DBT has shown to effectively reduce self-harm behaviors. DBT is dialectical behavioral therapy, and it's an approach that helps with people who are trauma-based and also um, have borderline personality, which is a big side effect of that is the self-harm behavior. DBT focuses on two primary areas. The first is in helping the teen know and anticipate the kinds of events that are likely to trigger self-harming behaviors. And the second is about teaching the teen how to practice the skills necessary to avoid self-injury. Northland Behavioral, Signature Health, and the Lilac Center offer DBT in Kansas and Missouri. If you've noticed an unusual neglect of appearance, wearing long sleeve clothing even in the summer, a noticeable change in eating or sleeping habit, an intense, persistent withdrawal from friends or family, you should speak to your teen about seeking help. Parents should avoid concluding that the self-injury is a bit for attention. These teens are really suffering so they may want you to believe that it really doesn't matter to them. You as a parent should also be looking for therapy. Your mental health is also important. Remember, you are not alone. For more assistance, call 1-855-436-7792.